Welcome back. All right, so how about a career video? Uh, we're going to talk about Chris Kunitz today, an undrafted player who went on to play over a thousand games. Hey, sometimes these guys slip through the cracks. Uh, we're having a draft in a month. Odds are there'll be players who slip through the cracks again. Uh, but at any rate, Chris Kunitz would be signed in 2003 by the Anaheim Ducks, then the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. So I've used Mighty Ducks logos, even though uh, the team name did change to the Anaheim Ducks for 06, 07. And then they won. Uh, so 3 4 he makes his debut, 21 games, 6 assists. So he's in this odd place. He is old, young enough to still be a rookie and qualifies as a rookie the following year because he only played 21 games the previous season. However, um, he does require waivers because of his age and contract status. So October the 4th, he is, a, he is acquired on waivers by the Atlanta Thrashers. Yep, the Thrashers pick him up. Plays two games, no points. And so they decide, well, we'll just send him to the minors then, and they waive him two weeks later on October 18th, and the Ducks claimed him back. Nothing was said about it at the time other than, hey, this guy got claimed on waivers twice in two weeks. But did Atlanta make a mistake? Probably, yeah. Uh, so for the rest of that 0506 season, he plays 67 games with the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim. 19 goals, 22 assists, 41 points. So... Yeah, Atlanta could have used another 20-goal scorer in the playoffs. 16 games, 3 goals, 5 assists, 8 points. Uh, pretty solid overall run. And sets, I believe he set rookie records that then would be passed by Dustin Penner not long after. 06-07, so this was a big year for the Ducks and a big year for Kunitz. 81 games, 25 goals, 35 assists, 60 points. So absolutely remarkable season. In the playoffs, 13 games, 1 goal, 5 assists, 6 points and a Stanley Cup. Uh, championship rings, definitely something that Kunitz picked up. Uh, and that was his first, and he was only in his second full year in the NHL. 07-08, plays a full 82 games, 21 goals, 29 assists, 50 points. So the points totals drop off a bit in the playoffs, two assists in six games, as the Ducks would get knocked out early in the 08 playoffs. It does happen to defending Stanley Cup champions. Uh, so 2008-2009, his fourth full season in, with Anaheim. 62 games, 16 goals, 19 assists, 35 points. At least it would have been his fourth full season, except he did have the two games in Atlanta in 0506. And then February 26th, the Ducks decided to trade him. He is traded with Eric Tangrady to the Pittsburgh Penguins for Ryan Whitney. So he goes to the Penguins in a trade that I mean, it's close, but I'll say that Pittsburgh wins the trade. Uh, so the rest of the 08-09 season, uh, pretty good for him. 20, 20 games in Pittsburgh, 7 goals, 11 assists, 18 points. Yeah, uh, there's this guy there, Sidney Crosby, and uh, Kunitz plays pretty well with him. And if, if Crosby wasn't available, you'd, you'd have uh, Malkin. So in the playoffs, 24 games, 1 goal but 13 assists, 14 points, and his second Stanley Cup. So he's 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 just racking up Stanley Cups. There are a lot of veterans who play in this league for a very long time, put up a bunch of points, and never win a championship. But Kunitz is a winner. 2009-2010, uh, he only plays 50 games that year, 13 goals, 19 assists, 32 points. In the playoffs, 13 games, 4 goals, 7 assists, 11 points. So no back-to-back -back Stanley Cup there. He would... He would remedy that later but in Pittsburgh we then go into this era where they're good in the regular season but they have struggles in the postseason so 2010 2011 66 games 23 goals 25 assists 48 points he adds a goal in six games in the playoffs so again Pittsburgh now seemingly trending in the wrong direction 2011 2012 82 games 26 goals 35 assists 61 points so he betters his best season by one point. Uh, that one point is the extra one goal he had that season as well. So he has the career highs. However, in the playoffs, just six games played, two goals, four assists, six points. Um, I believe we're in the year now where Marc-Andre Fleury, people were saying, well, he's done. He's not very much of a starting goaltender. Uh, Pittsburgh's going to have to figure that out if they're going to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, that would not be the case. 2012-2013 is a big year for him. Now, it is a lockout-shortened season, so just the 48 games. 22 goals, which was 8th in the National Hockey League. 30 assists, 52 points. The 52 points, 7th overall in the league. 
In the playoffs, 15 games, 5 goals, 5 assists, 10 points. He was a first-team All-Star that year. So, uh, first-team All-Star, Chris Kunitz, well done. And a tremendous season, sadly, of course, for Pittsburgh. They don't win the Cup that year. That was the year that Chicago won their second. 2013-2014, plays 78 games, has 35 goals, a career high, and it would stay there. Uh, eighth overall in the NHL, 33 assists, 68 points. In the playoffs, he adds three goals, five assists for eight points in 13 games. 2014-2015, we see the drop in offense that will happen with players as they get older. 74 games, 17 goals, 23 assists for 40 points. In the playoffs, five games, one goal, two assists, three points. So again, they win the Cup in 09. We're now up to 2015. They haven't won a cup since 09, and there's starting to be discussions about, you know, Pittsburgh might be just a one and done. What do they need to do to get over the hump? Yada, yada, yada. But Kunitz is still there, and he sticks around. And in 2015, 2016, 80 games played, totals remain the same 17 goals, 23 assists, 40 points. In the playoffs, 24 games, four goals, eight assists, 12 points, and Stanley Cup. So there's his third cup. His first in seven years had to feel like an eternity for him. Uh, But 2016-2017 is another good year for the Pittsburgh Penguins. 71 games, 9 goals. So he falls below 10 goals in a season for the first time in his career in a full season played. 20 assists, 29 points. But Pittsburgh has a lot of depth. And in the playoffs, he ups his game a bit. 20 games, 2 goals, 9 assists, 11 points. So more than a point for, for every other game in the playoffs and second straight Stanley Cup. Phew, Uh, you didn't have to wait as long for that fourth cup ring. So that's four Stanley Cups. Uh, Kunitz, not like the main guy driving the bus when they win all these cups, but still, he's a part of four Stanley Cup Cup winners. He has four cup rings. That's pretty impressive. Uh, So he ends up leaving Pittsburgh that summer. July the 1st, he signs as an unrestricted free agent with the Tampa Bay Lightning. And 2018, Tampa Bay had a very good year. Uh, 82 games in the 17-18 season, 13 goals, 16 assists, 29 points. So his points stay the same, but his goals go up by four. The assists drop by four. Uh, In the playoffs, 17 games, just the one assist. So the offensive side of the game uh, is starting to become a bit of an issue with Kunitz here. Uh, July the 1st, he ends up signing the following season to play in Chicago. Now, Chicago, of course, the 2018-2019 season, no longer a playoff team, having their own struggles. He only plays 56 games that year, has 5 goals, 5 assists for 10 points. So, his points totals drop off quite a bit. Uh, July the 30th of 2019, he ends up announcing his retirement. He ends up playing a total of 1,022 games in his career. 268 goals, 351 assists for 619 points. That's not bad. That's pretty good for a guy who's undrafted, kind of unheralded. And even though he only retired four years ago, I'm sure there will be those who start to say Kunitz, Kunitz. Because uh, I've seen that with guys from, from the generation I grew up watching too. Uh, players that I'm like, oh, yeah, he was a really good goal scorer. And if I'm talking to somebody under the age of 40, they're like, who? So uh, in the playoffs, 178 games. That's a lot. Um, especially today, you've got 32 teams in the league. Uh, it is getting rarer and rarer to see guys play this many games, unless they're on one team that's really good at making it into the playoffs and going pretty far. But he had runs with Anaheim, with Pittsburgh, and then he had that run with Tampa as well. 27 goals, 66 assists, 93 points in the playoffs. So he produced in the regular season, he produced in the playoffs. Uh, He won the Olympic gold with Team Canada in 2014, and he won championship, world championship silver in 2008 as well. So he did represent Canada, and he had some success there as well. So pretty solid career overall. One of the many wingers that has come through Pittsburgh's organization over the years. I would say one of the better wingers of the Sidney Crosby era, but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through, you just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.